So I was thinking about something. I want to talk about it. Um, and it has to do with these puzzles. So we have the MF3 RS3. The well, this one's actually more of almost an exception. Uh, this is the YJ UPO version two. This one is the Mofeng Zhaoshi Mini Cubing Classroom. I think this one's the 50 millimeter one. Um, the Yushin Keelin version two, and the Gan 356R. So here's what I'm I'm thinking. I feel like we're about to hit. We're about to like burst this bubble of pricing because. Manufacturers are making cubes now that are good, but are purposefully made to make them less interesting. I'll take you back a little bit. Uh, I think about two, three years ago, the Yushin 5x5 came out, and it was about half the cost of other 5x5s. I can't remember the pricing, but it was something like, at the time, it was around something like other ones from Moryu were $40 for 5x5. And then Yushin came out with this one, which blew the other ones out of the water, and it was like 20 bucks, something like that. And so suddenly, everything had to change. The Moyu ones came down, all the other ones came down, and there was the new price point. Which, you know, there's business practices. I understand why cubes cost a certain amount. Like, GAN charges 60 because they can. Yeah, there's extra things with it, but it obviously doesn't cost 60 bucks to, to make that. And But people will buy it, and if they buy it... They'll sell at that. So I'm not I'm not complaining about that at all. But we're at a point where where the manufacturers understand the technology that we can make good puzzles for a cheap price. So I'll start with this. This is the MF3 RS3. There's no magnets in it. There's nothing extra on top of the RS2. They're charging more because they can. They literally said on Instagram that they're going to charge more because it's the newer version. Um, they use different words in that. But... The plastic's not any thicker or, or different than the RS2 or much to, to warrant any difference. But that's another thing too. The plastic isn't any thinner than the really expensive ones. So there it's just charged cheaper because they're calling this the cheaper one. But then there's other ones like, here's some mini cubing classroom. I don't know why they wouldn't come out this in regular plastic because a lot of people I know don't use it because of the plastic. It's that sort of frosted one. The only thing I can think of is it's their Mofeng Zhaoxi Cubing Classroom line, and they want those to seem cheaper. Um, which again, this one really confuses me because there's no higher end one. We have the YJ UPO version two. Now this is an okay two by two. Once you tighten it a little bit and tension it, it's not bad. And YJ has been trying to get better at making themselves seem like higher end puzzles uh, or company because they've always in the past been more the cheaper line. And so they come out with this, but but this color scheme is not much, not many people will go to this. So they, they kind of, there, there's no reason to make that unless they want it to seem like a model that's not as interesting to others. The GAN 356R. It performs, especially after adding magnets, in my opinion, just as well as the X, if not very close to it. Um, you don't get a lot of the little extras, but the only thing I can think of for the colors is they make the colors like this, so it's not as interesting. The Yushin Keelan is a great puzzle for $10, but not a lot of people want tiles. Or they don't want tiles like this, they would rather have the whole piece covered. It's okay to try something different, but why not do the other one? So, I mean, Yushin does have their more expensive, well, I think it was the Huanglong. Um, I might be saying that wrong, but they have their higher end 3x3 and they have the little magic that is also stickerless, so maybe they don't want to compete with that. GAN, of course, doesn't want to compete with their own X. Uh, YJ has their MGC. I don't, there's no other mini one out there. Um, and so, but I feel like if these were put in regular plastic, they might outsell the other ones and... Or, or people would be like, wow, this one's actually really good. Let's use this one instead of spending triple that amount or quadruple or whatever on their higher end version when the other one's just as fine. With that said, I understand why companies do this. There's a, there's a marketing reason. And I'm not complaining about their marketing reason. But the, we are so close to getting a, a cube that is around maybe $10 to $20 that is just as good as the 30 40 50 $60 ones that actually looks good and performs well, 
that it's just a matter of time before that bubble bursts, before the price bubble of something coming out and everyone has to drop down to meet that one. I feel like we're right at that edge and I'm just sort of waiting for a company to do it. And Yushin, I feel like, would be perfect because they're the one who did it. They did it last time. Um, more you could do it if they really didn't split off the company to that MF3 RS sort of section of it. Diane's pretty close to doing it, but theirs is a little over $20. I think this was 25 but we're really close to it. So here's what I'm, I'm asking you guys out here in the YouTube sphere. What do you think is going to cause the price drop if there is? Because there has to be something. If companies keep coming up with more and more expensive puzzles, they'll hit a point where people are going to be like, well, I'm just going to go for that cheaper one. And usually it's it seems like a big drop off of when people jump to a cheaper one like we had for the Yushin 5x5. So what company do you think it's going to be? What cube do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's even going to happen at all or am I just spouting nonsense? Let me know in the comment section below. I just want to talk about this because I got a little frustrated with the UPO version 2, a little frustrated with this 356R. They stopped making this in stickered it seems. Luckily I got one, a few, like three of them before that stopped. Um, and even this, this frustrated me because if they came out with like large tiles or even stickers, I feel like this one would be one of the big ones out right now. But but with the tiled, so it's, it's a neat idea, but people aren't really asking for that anymore, especially since full stickerless is legal now. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe, and we'll come to like us in the future. And as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.